be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit those bell notifications so you know when we're gonna post. Today's video is all about lo-fi. All right, we've been you know talking about what we want to learn next and everything like that. And the popular vote is a lo-fi beat. So what we're gonna do is talk about how to do it. Let's jump in. Um, first off, man, I went ahead and also looked for some sounds and stuff like that before doing the video just to make sure it's not going to take too long to get into it. But the just of lo-fi is basically a vinyl vibe mixed with abstract jazz. That's, that's, that's kind of like my layman's term, uh, you know description of what lo-fi is a vinyl vibe mixed with abstract jazz okay and so what you want to do is you want to find a good vinyl plug-in okay that you're going to put on almost everything even sometimes the uh the drums and then you want to find some either some jazz chops or be able to play some jazz chops and then be able to mix them in there in a certain way and when it comes to actually formatting your drums or, or sequencing your drums you want to do it on a swing okay so keep those things in mind as we're going through this tutorial um one good vinyl plug-in that's free that you can get actually from isotope is called vinyl okay it's uh it's pretty dope this is what it looks like right here and yeah you, you know this is going to help make some magic you got warp right here which is going to help detune things you got this dusk, which is going to get, you know, add some character to, to it. Scratch can add some character wear and tear. And then these two things I really like. Um, this kind of gives a vibe to what you got going here. All right. So now that we know what we got going, I'm going to let you hear some of the sounds I selected. And we're going to make a dope live lo-fi beat. All right. So first off, I went to Splice. And I just typed lo-fi up here. You know what I mean? And from there, I started looking for what I wanted, okay? Like kicks, search through the kicks, snares, you know, and, and the list went on, you know what I mean? And I came up with this this uh, kick right here. I like that, I kinda like the little, that little ching ching sound in the back, I like that. This is a good, solid, like, you know, boom bap vibe snare. You need something like that with a little bit of echo. And then I have a basic hat, you know what I mean? Then another thing you want to put in some lo-fi uh, beats is like maybe some background noise, people talking in the background kind of low. So I found something like that. I found this cool uh, synth one shot. And you can do a lot with that. And then this, this pad. Also, you could also put like some vocal, some type of vocal phrase. So that's what we got going. Now, let's work on the drums first. And uh, again, keep in mind you want to do things at a swing. So what I'll do is I'll get this this um, this echo e type uh, snare, and we'll just lay that down first. Let me just make that a little slower, maybe like around yeah, 87. Maybe even slower than that, lower than, yeah, let me do like 77. All right, cool. Once you got that laid down, let's go over here and quantize it. Again, we want to do things on a swing, so I would be like, you know, maybe one over 16, swing with a C, and do it like that. Do something like that, something simple.
So super simple. I'll quantize that. Let's see how it sounds quantized. Now let's add a little uh, hi-hat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just add something abstract in there. As you can see, I just kind of do that snare in there a little bit, but it's gonna help help add, add that little that vibe that we're looking for. All right, cool. So we had the drums. Let me go ahead and throw this uh this little talking part in the background. It's really gonna start bringing it together once we put that in there. Cool. Quantize that. Force legato it, basically bring it all the way to the end there. Kind of turn that bad boy down. And now let's work with some of the um, melody. So we'll do something like that. Pretty simple, but you know, it's bringing the vibe together, okay? Um, I'm also gonna come over here and bring this up, bring the velocity notes up. And now we got something pretty dope. Let's see here. Pretty dope. Um, now let's kind of see if we can bring this pad in somewhere. We'll just do something like that. Cool. So what we can also do is go ahead and bring in some type of a bass instrument or bass sound. Uh, for that, I'm going to go with, uh, actually, we're going to go to Omnisphere. Sorry for y'all that don't have Omnisphere. You can just use whatever bass you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and with this Omnisphere. Let's see what we can come up with. And... Oops.
so we'll do something like that. And for the most part, we're really gonna be pretty much done. Cool. We'll just turn that base off for right now and really what we're going to do is just throw that vinyl plug in on everything to tie it all together. So, um, let's see here. I'm just going to mute everything else or solo this out. Cool. Put it on the pad as well. Cool, so we got the beat pretty much done. I'm gonna do a basic little uh, arrangement here just to give you a vibe. And we're gonna go from there. We're almost done with the video, y'all. I appreciate y'all sticking along all the way till now. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment, man. I, I'm feeling like this is coming out pretty good. Let's, uh, let's see what we got going.
And there you have it, y'all. That's the pretty much, in a nutshell, how you make a lo-fi beat in Logic Pro 10. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.